Okay, I'm gonna do a little training flight on uh, over here at the farm. So uh, I've got the uh, new drone that I'm going to let you take a look at. It's getting um, dust sunset over here. This is and uh, this is the all tail the evo max 4t so uh, that's what we're going to take a look at it's a i'd call it a medium sized drone but uh, it has a really good thermal camera so i'm gonna be interested to see what that uh, looks like when we uh, get out here in the evening so we got it uh, we'll get it set here and then it has a nice got me three spare batteries there but this one has a uh, nice larger screen see here let me get this turned on there we go move some trash out of the way so this is a design we're going to be using it on the fire department for our uh, search and rescue drone we've actually got two of these and we've also got a uh, MT a DJI MT30 and um, M30T, sorry, get it wrong, M30T. So that's what we're going to we use for our fleet of drones, search and rescue, and uh, firefighting capabilities. So the, uh, see what you can see on the, on the screen here, it's got a nice large screen, very bright. Uh, similar to the uh, functions of the DJI, uh, so the all tail is also a Chinese made drone, but it is approved to purchase uh, in Tennessee, so that's what we got. about 200 feet here let's see make sure you can see that okay let's switch to IR infrared so uh, we'll do a scan of course, it was about 80 degrees today, 82, and uh, sun's just setting now, as you could tell on the uh, other video. Okay, I see some signatures over in this field over here, picking up heat signatures. So that picks it up in the recognition it picked it up as a human but uh, it is obviously i would say probably too dear but let's look here what we got so do a little zoom That is at 84 times zoom, it gets a little blurry. Let's 
we're at a pretty good distance away from them. Let's see, oh, we'll just do, let me try the laser. So we are um, 1,025 feet from them. So that's why it gets a little blurry at, uh, at that distance. But they pick it up in an open field like that. It uh, Nice. Okay, here we got some signatures, pretty strong signatures, so let's look at showing one, two, three there, showing that 836 feet, and as you can tell, let's do a zoom here, there they are, several D, or one, two, three, and there's one over there, so. Okay, here's some um, comparisons between um, the thermal and the uh, uh, zoom camera. So that's zoomed in on the deer walking. And there's a thermal zoomed out. If you look at the left hand, you see a deer there, but in the center portion there, you see the deer walking. Again, here is a deer in the field with the visual camera. And then, um, this is what it looks like when you're just overflying in the thermal area, thermal using thermals, and uh, they, they show up very well. Again, here is two deer. That's right underneath a uh, the tree stand there, the large tree on the right. And then when you zoom in with the visual camera. You can zoom in. You see the two deer right there. So uh, you can see how easy it is to spot them on the thermal. No. Okay. Oh, uh, well. Uh, we so just fixing to lay a trail. So we're gonna lay a trail, and uh, and then you're gonna run the trail, and then. Yeah, Joe's uh, gonna lay me a trail, and then I'm gonna track him. And then when we get back, then I will take off and lay Chuck a trail, and then he'll track me. Okay. And then I'm going to do a little flying and see if I can uh, find you or watch your trailer. Keep up with them. And let me get, okay. Well, let me get it. Teresa, can you give me a little, for the video purposes in here, can you give me a little rundown of, uh, the uh, K9 trailer and the command post area. So you've got. Uh, oh. okay, uh, we we run uh, Caltopo mapping, mm -hmm. and we also run um, base camp tracking. Okay. Uh, base so camp when... base camp works on the GPS uh, handhelds. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the uh, Cal Topo works on our personal telephones. Okay. Um, we have uh, three monitors that run off of um, two mm -hmm. run off of three monitors run off of one computer, and then we have one monitor that runs off of uh, a single computer. Okay. Looks, so, looks, looks nice. Uh, and I will. Uh, we have uh, radio communications with. Uh, uh, Sheriff's Go ahead, Office, 1710. Central Dispatch, your teams. Just radio check. Loud and clear. We keep supplies in here for when we go out on a uh, call-out search. 
so we have plenty of water and supplies for what we need to be self-sufficient. No, I'm not picking you up. I hear it beeping too, but I'm not picking you up. You may have to reset base. Oh, All right, let me reset it. Okay. Um, it's warming up. And I turn my audio up a little bit. But Okay, we've got, I'm going to try a, a battery is at 99%, so I'm going to set my stopwatch and see how long it lasts. <coughs> so I'm going to set a stopwatch for, uh, see how long our, uh, battery will last when we're flying. Clear prop. Take off. We'll go up to we'll do about a 150. Uh, let's go to 200 feet above ground. We're at 200 feet. I've got the uh, sort of the iron bow. So we got the. Uh, <laughs> Seventeen ten base, go ahead. All right, I'm fixing to leave. Copy that. I've got the um, the code up here on the computer if you want to program your phone. We get the record. Okay, the dog has Remy. Yeah, Remy has found her lost victim. Base, we got a find. Copy that. 1908. Okay. We've got 30, 31 minutes. The aircraft is uh, down to 25% and it is returning to home. So uh, we're going to let it go ahead and land. But 31 minutes of flying around is uh, not bad. So it's landing. Twenty-two percent left. Okay, tell me hi. Say hi. Which who's what's her name? Luna. This is Luna. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You gotta go. You gotta go find somebody else. <laughs> Not me.